Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. I'm Vic, V, Victoria, whatever it is that you call me, and I have not posted a YouTube video in way too long, but I am back. I have so much new content for you guys, so many new ideas. I'm going to be posting a new video every Thursday, so once a week is my new, you know, thing with YouTube. <laughs> Finally gonna get into a, like, system here, and because I've been slacking. So get ready for some new content from me. I am so excited. And make sure that you guys do like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below telling me exactly what you guys want to see from me moving forward. And let's jump right into it. Today, I wanted to do a video for you guys on like kind of like a QA. and a I asked on my Instagram story, um, you know, what are your biggest questions? If you could ask a fashion blogger or an influencer anything, what would it be? What is it that you want to know? Um, so I'm here to answer that stuff for you. I would say that pretty much everybody asked about money. <laughs> that was the most, like, that was the biggest question I got was always about money. So let's get right into it then. Um, somebody was pretty straight up. How do I make money? <laughs> so let me explain one thing first. Do not blog or do not start, you know, diving into the um, influencer industry simply to make money. It's not going to work that way. Um, this is one of those jobs where they say, you know, do what you love and the money will follow. This is the perfect example of a job like that. Um, if you are not totally passionate about your blog and you know being an influence and all and all that like just stop while you're ahead honestly um this is the type of job where money does not come into the picture for quite some time and even after you have a big following there are still so many brands that are not going to pay you and are only really going to offer gifting um depends on budget depends on who is a priority for them Ultimately, the money should be seen as a perk in the industry, but really not a requirement. Um, there are people who are full-time bloggers, influencers, yes. They have built a much larger following for themselves. They are super consistent. They work for tons of brands. They advertise not only on Instagram, but they're on YouTube. They're on you know, their blog. They have all different things going on. They have so many different outlets. I would say, so I started blogging um, and doing the whole Instagram influencer stuff in 2015. Um, I didn't start making any money on any of my um, sponsored posts until 2018, mid 2018. Um, so that was almost, that was pretty much three full years of working for zero dollars. I did get a lot of free stuff along the way, but that doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> if you want to make money instantly, <laughs> go on an interview and go get a job and work for a salary or an hourly wage. But in this type of industry, um, you pretty much are going to invest more than you're going to make. And your profit probably will not be returned for years. Just to put that out there. Okay, next question. How do you keep a good balance between social life and business? This is a very good question. It is so easy to get lost in the business and losing your social life and I am super guilty of that. I'm somebody who if you guys follow me you see that I'm home Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like I don't go out. I'm not much of a partier. I used to be. Now I'm pretty much just working around the clock. I'll be up until 4 a.m. working. I'll wake up at 8 a.m. and work again. Um, and even during travel you know most of it is work rather than um, you know, the typical vacation, I would say. Every time that you see me going away, um, I'm spending the majority of the day shooting content, you know, doing new photos, editing my photos, emailing brands. Like, it never ends. This isn't the type of job where you could be like, yay, I'm done with all my work. Like, now I could sit back and watch Netflix. There's, there's no end. There's always something more to be done. And you guys have to remember that you are every single like component of the business. So not only are you the blogger or editor, but you are your manager, you are your P PR person, like you do all your emails, um, you schedule every phone call or every time you're gonna chat or you have to, you know, handle all your contracts and negotiate all, you know, pay and gifting and all that. Um, 
you edit your photos, you create the photos, you are the photographer, you're the stylist, you find the location, you are, you know, the creative director behind everything, um, you film the YouTube video, you edit the YouTube video, um, it, there's just a never ending, you know, job to be put out into your business even further. So the weekends are such an amazing time for that, you know, because all week long you're doing all this stuff and then you're like, finally, it's Friday or Saturday night and I could just sit home and answer all these emails. Like really you do kind of lose your social life if you allow that to happen. There are so many people that are probably better at managing their time. So then they are free on the weekends, but so far, I haven't mastered that yet, so I'm not really the best at balancing it. I would say I get with my friends for like lunch or for dinner, um, and it's funny because when I do actually go out and go to lunch or go to dinner, I'm wearing sweatpants, sweatshirt, no makeup, my hair is in a bun. <laughs> so the only time that I'm like dressed up any for anything is if I'm actually doing nothing, just taking photos. That's pretty much how it goes. What makes a brand seem sketchy to you? Are you iffy to work with them? Um, okay, I am a huge advocate for people to not work with brands that make you pay to buy their clothing to promote it. It doesn't make any sense. So like, yeah, we'll give you, you know, 20% off or, or even if they say we'll give you 50% off and then you just have to post us and tag us and um, anybody who buys, you know, through you will will pay you for it. Like, how do you even know who has purchased through your code or through your link? There is no way of you tracking that. It's like the craziest thing and so many people get away with it and so many girls are like, I'm a brand ambassador. Like, no, you just got the same discount code that everybody else got on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Like, it's nothing special. I have never worked with brands like that. Um, truthfully, for me, in the beginning, I invested so much money into, you know, blogging, but on my own terms. I went out and bought the clothes that I truly loved, the brands I truly loved and represented those brands and tagged those brands. Those brands clearly were not interested in working with me. I had no followers. My content pretty much sucked. It was mediocre at best. I had barely any engagement. So of course brands weren't gifting me or paying me. But if you're gonna put money into what you're posting, put money into the things that you're passionate about, not brands that are just scamming you or convincing you that you're a brand ambassador for them you will really never see a return from that and really will never go anywhere um if a brand is asking you to pay for the clothing then you should say okay well then you need to pay me for the post like um this is a two-way street here i'm not going to pay you to put in my own work doesn't really make any sense um doing that to be completely honest with you so the next question says, um, what would you say to people who say it comes easy to you? <laughs> I laugh and say that you have it all wrong. You clearly don't know how this industry works at all. Um, a lot of people do say that sometimes because, you know, I was on a show. Um, let me make one thing clear. It does not matter. <laughs> um, yes, it helped my platform grow. Absolutely. It has given me a lot more followers. I went from 9,000 followers, you know, in April of last year to 130,000 followers by like July of last year. Um, so it definitely grew my platform. But ultimately, it does not matter how many followers you have as much as the content that you provide and um, the work that you put into it. Um, so yeah, of course, somebody who only has, you know, 10,000 followers or less and somebody who has over 100,000 followers are going to get completely different pay and stuff like that. But ultimately, you will get there in followers as long as you stay consistent. But that doesn't mean that your content will ever be um, good or, you know, fit for a brand just because you have a certain amount of followers. There are, are people with half a million followers who just promote, you know, fast fashion, like Fashion Nova, um, those types of brands that will never get a brand deal with, you know, higher end brands like Revolve, um, you know, designer, luxury fashion, because they just don't 
work well together they don't, they don't mix and vice versa there are going to be bloggers who you know promote only high-end pieces um you know good quality luxury pieces that if they went and posted something that was fast fashion um it wouldn't be a fit and their followers would just not engage with it and then ultimately the brand wouldn't want to work with them anymore so it really depends on you as a blogger and what you put into your work um there are people who go on TV shows that never get a brand deal because that's just not the type that they just don't put in that same amount of work ethic. Um, and then there are people who go on these shows and then they just get, you know, one or two brand deals because they have a platform, but they never actually become a blogger or an influencer and start a business from it because it doesn't matter how many followers they have it's just not something that they make full time and ultimately that was part of my work <laughs> like going on to a show was all part of a plan i didn't really go on a show just to find love i mean that would have been great but ultimately i went on to build my platform to help my work that all it really did was help me to grow my following so i don't want people to think like oh you just go on a show and that's it you're an influencer that's not how it works. There are going to be tons of brands that deny working with you. There are tons of brands that deny working with me so many times. I've had so many brands that I've reached out to that they feel I'm not a fit for their brand. And that's fair. And that's fine. Um, of course, it's disappointing. But it doesn't matter how many followers you have or how many likes you get. If they feel like you're not a fit, then you're not a fit. Best advice for newbies consistency is key you cannot stop read my um latest blog post that i just posted on saturday um, i'm going to link it below so that you guys could check that out um you cannot get, get discouraged from people rejecting you people telling you no i get told no every single day and i still carry on with you know i go on to new brands if you guys are really trying to make it in this industry like you have to be your own biggest critic and you have to be kind of like the harshest person on yourself you can't let other people be that way for you um you have to be you know judge yourself more than anybody else judges you is do you pre-plan your posts if so how yes always i always pre-plan my posts i use this app preview so i don't know if it's going to focus but it's this little tile one down here um and so this app allows me to pre-plan my posts so anytime that i post a photo so i just posted i'm not going to show you all my pictures but i just posted a photo down here and so i have one two three four five six seven seven photos to still post that at least saves you time from shooting content so i like to shoot um four to five outfits in one day so that i can have tons of photos to go up um so that this way the other days i could work on emails i could do other stuff um and then this way everything's just ready to go on a like day-to-day -day basis post also when I choose the clothes that I'm like going to be promoting, um, I try to keep them in the same realm as what I like recently posted so that I'm not like wearing yellow in one and then pink in the other one and then black and white in the next one and then blue in the next one. Like I try and keep it going to kind of match each other so that when I am planning them out, they all look pretty great together. Um, I think it's really important to plan them out because otherwise then you have to spend every single day planning your posts and every single day taking new content and that's like a really hard thing to do. It's better to shoot all your content in like two days out of the week, one or two days. This way you have it then for the whole rest of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that this was a little bit helpful. I love to answer all of your questions. So if you do have more for me, please comment them below. If there's anything else that you want me to discuss, you know, outside of fashion blogging and influencing just in general, send that also below. Tell me what you want to see from me. You can comment me below. You can message me on Instagram, whatever way of getting in touch with me. My Instagram is vic.alario. I will post that right here for you guys to find me on Instagram and be sure to like, comment, subscribe as per usual and get ready for new videos from me every Thursday. I am so excited. So thanks guys.